Let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, the moon up above. All this week on 10 TV, we're asking parents, how well do you know your children? Well enough to know what they're doing online or if they're ready for a smartphone? Well, one of the toughest topics, what do your kids know about the birds and the bees? 10 TV News anchor Kristen Hartman tackled this tough topic. One of those topics, the birds and the bees. Kristen, mm -hmm. the subject can really intimidate parents, just the thought of it. Oh yeah, it's awkward. You remember the talk, right? right? We all had one of those back just in the one. day. Just one, <laughs> very awkward. Yes, it, it was very awkward. I was in about fifth grade. I don't know how old you about were. About the same. Yeah, well, things are different these days. I, I spoke with a doctor at Nationwide Children's Hospital and an adolescent medicine nurse. And what they're saying is the talk is really a conversation that evolves over the years. Mm -hmm. It's not just one talk, and it starts young. And this is supposed to be something, the key being age mm -hmm. appropriate. So age appropriate, it's not necessarily yes. one talk or once a year. Yeah. This is something that happens over the course of, you say, from the time they're a toddler. From the time they're a toddler, yeah. If, if a kid asks, well, what is that? You have to answer them honestly. No, no makeup names right. for things. You know, I, I know that there has been a lot of that over the course of history. Right. Be truthful within what they can understand. Right. You know, uh, I was speaking with uh, the, the nurse and she had said that she and her daughter were at the zoo when her daughter was like six or seven. Uh -huh. And, you know, really loud, uh, her daughter asks, so, so where do those babies come from? And, a and bunch I'm sure of all the other parents there, are chuckling. Yeah, right? they're like, good luck with that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, she went home and she had an age appropriate conversation with her daughter at that young age told her something that she could understand within her age context. And you know your children mm -hmm. best, and they, if you're really watching, yeah. will probably give you cues as to when they're ready. They might ask you questions, or right. they might see something on television, and you know they're curious about it. Yeah, um, the doctor who I, I spoke with uh, said her son was really curious about why his dad had hair on his legs. <laughs> One, <laughs> of know, things, one of those things, one of those things, a toddler asking that, and she had an appropriate conversation with him. So I think, you know, for, for me listening to that, I thought, this is so different from what I came up Absolutely. with. Absolutely. But I, I really, I, I, you know, I think it's something that you can buy into because then it doesn't loom large over you as some intimidating thing. It's just something that uh, you develop a relationship with your kids as as kind of guiding them through sure and I, I think it makes sense well thanks for doing the hard work for us Kristen we're gonna be taking <laughs> notes next Wednesday all right next Wednesday right. we have a lot mm -hmm. of ground to cover all this week from cell phone secrets to what kids may be hiding online join 10 TV all this week as we help you get to know your children plus head to 10 tv.com slash know your kids for quizzes and tips from the best experts in town